don't care what the so-called experts are saying. The market is going to dip any minute. Look, if you ask me again why I'm so sure you're fired, just sell the stock immediately. Excuse me, Mr. Albright? What? You told me to let you know when Mr. Brooks arrived. Okay, go ahead, send him in, Gene. Look, just do what I say, no questions asked. Got it? Good. Good morning, Peter. What's so good about it? Hmm. Rough day? Wouldn't be if these mental defects that work for me would do their job. Hmm. I take it the present company is excluded? Depends on what you have to say. I transferred the money to your offshore account and put the final touches on the buyout procedure as you requested. You'll get a copy in your inbox. And the socks? Clean as a whistle. No one will suspect a thing. Good. The last thing I need is the SEC up my ass. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. There is one more matter we need to discuss. How much are you milking me for this time? Uh, no, sir, it's not that. It's the matter of the land acquisition upstate. I thought that was a done deal. I, as did I, but there's been a little snag in the process. I pay you to get rid of snags, remember? Yes, sir, I understand that, but this has become larger than anticipated. A group of concerned citizens are petitioning the federal government to declare the area a national landmark. What? How the hell can they do that? Something about the American Revolution and the 13 colonies. Our research team's looking into it as we speak. Her research team. They're obviously not looking hard enough. Do I need to go up there and handle this personally? Actually, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Your presence might speed up the process exponentially. Okay, fine. But I'm deducting all my expenses off of your bill. As usual. I'll warn the t- <clears throat> I'll tell the team to expect you. Have a good day. Jane! Yes, sir? Clear my schedule. Going upstate next week. Fine, sir. I'm sure your mother will be glad to see you. Hoping to sneak in and out without her knowing. We both know that won't happen. Shit. Hi. Save Wholesome Grove. Hi. Hey, you want to sign the petition to Save Wholesome Grove? It's right over here. Save Wholesome Grove. Sign the petition. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any luck? Oh, no, this, not very many. This is not a good day. Well, don't get discouraged. Every signature counts. I just, I don't think it's enough. What about the online petition? How's that coming? Oh, not too bad. People seem to be more politically active when they don't have to get off the couch. Hmm. Uh, I, we have to get 10,000 signatures before the presentation at the end of the month, or else, I mean, the courts won't even hear our petition. They won't even consider it. We only need 1,100 more. Have faith. I feel like we're not doing enough, you know? Like, we, we need to make more noise if we're gonna be heard at all. Save Wholesome Grove. The time to act is now. Fight the oppressive voices of the uber-rich. Preserve our heritage. Oh, speaking of noise. <laughs> she is your daughter. Oh, I just hope I can stop her from doing that in the middle of the courtroom. Don't stand by idly and let the upper classes destroy our town. History should be embraced, not erased. Act now or Wholesome Grove will become just another example of insignificant, unemotional capitalism. She hasn't mellowed with age. Are you kidding me? Puberty's just made it 10 times worse. <laughs> I have to admire her though. She is a fighter. She's tougher than I ever care to be. I guess one of us has to be. Hey mom, hi Catherine. Inspirational as usual. Can't solve problems sitting on the sidelines. Did you have any luck up there? I got a couple signatures, but I directed some people to the online petition. That's good, every little bit counts. 
Um, we should get one of those traveling billboards that goes on the back of trucks. Hey, that's a great idea. We could travel all around the country. <laughs> okay, slow down, ladies. I think that's a little bit out of our budget. Preservation knows no price, Mother. Well, and neither does your determination, but I think that it's time that we probably just call it a day. There's still things to do. There's still hundreds of people out here that we can reach. Yeah, and they'll be here tomorrow, and you have a regiment to keep, ma'am. The ever-present specter of required medication doth rear its ugly head. Yes, it doth. Let's just pick this back up tomorrow, okay? The present is the ever-moving shadow that divides yesterday from tomorrow. There in lies hope. Frank Lloyd Wright. She really is an amazing child, Beth. Yeah, well, don't I know it. Where are you going this time? Going uh, upstate for business. What's your business's name? What? You don't just pick up at a moment's notice for a business trip. You obviously don't know shit about me. I know enough to know that you're going up to see another woman. Look, why are we even having this conversation? Because I want to get closer to you. But you won't allow it. You knew the score coming into this. Things have changed. I love you, Peter. <laughs> you love the money, not me. Screw the money. I have enough of my own. Why won't you just let me in? It wasn't part of our deal. That's it? That's all I am to you? Just another business transaction? Look, I like to keep my life structured. You mean you have to be in control. That's it, isn't it? You can't handle any situation where you're not in complete control. Look, that's how I got to where I am today. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. Sorry to hear that. Wait. You can't control everything, Peter. And one day you will realize that. I just hope I'm there to see it. Mom, come on, breakfast is almost ready. What in God's name are you doing up this early? There's no rest for the wicked. We have a lot to do before the rally. And it had to be done right now? Like, we can't wait till the sun's the rest of the way up? Yeah. If you want to get things done, it's gotta be fast. Sometimes I wonder who the parent is in this family. Maybe if I grounded you for a week, it would help you remember. Oh, you're funny. So what, what's on your agenda for the day? First, we have some more online marketing and some email blasts. Then we have to go down to the courthouse just to get that permit for the rally. And then we have to proofread that ad before it goes live. Oh, and you're doing all that today. You think you'll get it all done today? That's just before lunch. There's still more after. Andrea, honey, you, you don't think this is all just a little too much? The world waits for no one, mother. If we're gonna save Wholesome Grove, we have to stay on the offensive. Okay, okay, but I, I'm just saying that- I know what you're saying, but I can pace myself. Yeah, well, I'm beginning to wonder. <sighs> if I need a break, you'll be the first to know. Well, thank you. Did you at least make coffee?
Good morning, sir. If it were good, I wouldn't be talking to you. What do you have for me? Um, the petition is growing, and so is the influence in the community. We need to squash that. Uh, set up a meeting tomorrow for the head of the committee. That's rather short notice, don't you think? It wasn't a request. I want this sewn up by the end of the week, one way or the other. I'll do my best, sir. Gerald, is it? The meeting will happen. We'll go through the proper channels, or we'll seek out other methods. Either way, the land will be mine by the time I poured my plane on Sunday. Understand? Understand, sir. Will you be staying at the Marriott? No. Unfortunately, my accommodations have already been made for me. time you got here. Come on in, wash up. Supper's getting cold. Hello to you too. Drop your bag at the door. I made your favorite. I never understand how you know I'm in the area. A mother knows. So, what is it this time? I'm just finalizing an acquisition, nothing major. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't pretend to understand what you do for a living. I'll be in and out quickly. My plane's scheduled to leave Sunday. At least you had the decency to come see your mother. Like I had a choice. Hush. Now wash your hands and get ready for supper. Like I said. Yes, Mom. And while you're here, I've got a few boxes I've been looking through. I want to see if there's anything you want. Look, I, I'm going to be busy all week. I doubt if I'm going to have time. That wasn't a request. Where have I heard that before? We'll do it tomorrow night, before supper. Ma, I have meetings all day tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for... Supper's at six, sharp. Don't be late. <sighs> yes, ma'am. It's good to see you, son. Good to see you too, Ma. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I will be there. Great, yes, I look forward to meeting you both. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Who was that? That was one of the lawyers for the company trying to buy Wholesome Grove and they wanna have a meeting tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic! I'll get all of the information put together for the meeting. Well, you're not coming. <laughs> and why not? Because, from what I've read, the CEO of this company is a tyrannical asshole. And you're not going to be exposed to that. And I've been through worse, remember? Yes, I remember, Andrea. I am the president of this committee. I put together the press junkets. I designed the webpage and I was the one who alerted the news media about the project. I deserve to be there. Okay, I'm aware of all that, but... No buts about it! We promised from the very beginning that we would do it together. Did we not? Yes, we did. Then we do it together. Now, what do I wear to a business meeting? Something nice but understated. I think I can handle that. Better not forget my lucky necklace either. Oh, no, yes, can't forget that. It's brought us so much luck so far. Don't be such a downer, Mother. I know the necklace will bring us good luck someday. All right, well, fingers crossed, right? I'm gonna go pick out my outfit. I cannot believe he's had us waiting out here for half an hour. Relax, it's a ploy. All of the big business types do it. Oh really, how do you know that? Research, it's imperative to know your enemy before you go to war. <laughs> okay, well, I hardly think this is going to war, but. You've gotta be aggressive if we wanna save Wholesome Grove. If we're not, 
He's just gonna walk all over us. Mr. Albright, we'll see you now. Oh, okay, here we go. Please, come on in and sit down. I'm, I'm Peter Albright. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Scott, and... I'm Andrea Scott, good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. That's quite a grip you got there. All right, Mr. Albright, let's get right to it. We have over 9,000 signatures to save Wholesome Grove. Yeah, that's a good start. Also, have documentation from the state proving that Wholesome Grove was the site of many battles in the Revolutionary War, and that could make Wholesome Grove a national landmark. Yeah, um, about that. I... We also, finally, have an ecological survey that proved the environmental importance of Wholesome Grove to this community. Whoa. Let's slow down. Let's, let's look at these one at a time. Fine. Let's start with the petition. Okay. Under state law, requires a minimum of 10,000 signatures to even be considered. <laughs> we'll have that by the deadline. As for the Revolutionary War, I hardly think the battle that you're referring to is going to qualify Wholesome Grove as a national landmark. What about the environmental survey? Won't hold up in a court of law. My research team tells me that the benefits of development far outweigh any ecological benefits. This is just the beginning, Mr. Albright. We will beat you, and we will save Wholesome Grove. <laughs> I admire your tenacity, young lady. The people stronger than you have tried and failed. Now, uh, if we're done, I have a real meeting in 10 minutes. You know what, Mr. Albright? What? Those articles that I read about you were true. You are a pain in the ass. Okay, come on, Th we'll be in touch, thank you. Come on. You're late. Five minutes. I almost started without you. Somehow, I doubt that. Don't sash your mom. Now go, get washed up. It smells delicious, what, what are we having? Chicken riggies. Fresh out of the pot. I can't tell you when the last time was I had chicken riggies. Probably the last time you were here, which we both know has been a while. Sorry about that. Better the business, because you're the boss. There's always time for family. You said something about going through some boxes? Just some old keepsakes. Guess it wouldn't hurt to look. belong to you. See if there's anything you want to keep. Why? Not like we were the picturesque American family. You couldn't let shit go, could you? Nice language. My house, my rules. You know I'm right, Ma. Your father has been dead and buried for over 15 years. I've moved past it. Why can't you? What good is having a grudge if you can't hold it? It ain't healthy. It makes you a bitter old fool. All I'm saying is... It's not like we had an abundance of... Wow! What is it? It's a picture of me at Silver Lake Camp. God, what was I, 12? 13. I remember because you worked your ass off the winter before shoveling snow so you could go. Tish Donovan. We had a lot of fun that summer. I remember you wrote home about her. Whatever happened to her? She died a year after this picture was taken. That's right. She was sick. What was it? Um... Cancer. She never said a word about it that whole summer. I, I didn't find out about it until her parents called. Oh, yes, I remember. It took you a long time to get over her. I don't think I ever did. She was the best friend I ever had. I'll put it on the trash pile. No, I, I think I'll, I'll keep this one. I'm gonna go for a walk. Take your time. Take your time, dear.
Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Who else would I be talking to? No idea, maybe a lost raccoon? <laughs> That's funny. Everyone else is out on a hike. Why are you sitting here all alone? I don't like people much. So you come to a camp full of them? Makes sense. Weird, huh? Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. Come on, let's go for a hike. I'd rather just stay here if you don't mind. Nope, not an option. What, you gonna kidnap me? If it comes to that. You think you can take me? Of course, although I'd rather you come along willingly. Fine, where are we going? A secret spot. Great, you're a serial killer. I'm going to show you something that'll change your life. I seriously doubt that. Never doubt the word of a strong woman. Remember that. What? Never seen a family of animals before? Only my neighbors back home. <laughs> nice. Look, the babies are getting so big. Uh, could we go now? Not until you realize why we're actually here. And that could take for... Shh. Watch and learn. What if something hunts them? Laws of nature, Pete. Only the strongest survive. Well, that's not very fair. Life's not fair. Trust me on that, Pete. Come on, we'd better be getting back. Actually, could we stay? It's almost dinner time. We can come back again. Cool. You know what? You're not a bad kid, Pete. Ah, uh, don't spread it around. Only the strong survive. One time you lied to me. Don't worry, I'll clean it up later. Well, what are you doing? Coordinating our next plan of attack. On who, North Korea? On Mr. Corporate America, Peter Albright. Okay, tread lightly there, Miss Militant. I mean, he's got millions of dollars and like a whole team of lawyers on his side. Yes, and we have something on our side that he doesn't. Oh, and what's that? Me. <laughs> well, there is that. So what, what's, what's your plan here? I'm thinking we should involve the national media, television, radio, and social media. Well, okay, that, that could be effective, but do you think that you're up for this kind of barrage? I'm fine, Mom. I'm taking my meds, I'm monitoring my blood, and I'm on a strict regimen of airborne and multivitamins. <laughs> All right, well, sounds like you've got it all figured out. I don't know what you need me for. You are my new press secretary. I need you to contact all of those news agencies um, and get their information. <laughs> okay. All right, girl. Wow. You are one amazing child. Oh, and can you keep a list of everyone you've contacted with their contact information? Uh, anything you say, Madam President? Is there anything else I can do for you? How about some juice and cookies? I've got to keep my strength up. Sounds good. I live to serve. My leash. I want Dawson Construction to do the build-out on this job. We'll get a better price, and he has connections on the zoning committee. Yes, sir. Uh, what about the demolition? Uh, Walter Bosch is handling that. 
Uh, he should be sending in a bid later today. And may I ask what you're doing about the movement to save Wholesome Grove? <laughs> Not worried about it. There is no way some little grassroots movement is going to put a stop to this huge project. Especially one run by some little snot-nosed teenager. <laughs> uh, sir? Never interrupt me while I'm thinking. <clears throat> but, sir! What is it? The snot-nosed teenager has gone viral. What? That little shit. What would you like me to do, sir? Call Sherry and PR and get a handle on this right now. We'll do. There has to be something we can do to stop this, some sort of injunction. On a 16-year-old, sir? Don't argue with me. Just do what I say. Damn. Well played, little miss. Well played indeed. Oh my God, we have over a million hits on Facebook and YouTube. Isn't that crazy? I, I've got multiple phone calls from so many news media outlets asking for interviews. <laughs> it's nuts. I told you we could do it. Wholesome Grove is as good as saved. Well, yeah. Slow down there. I mean, we've gotten the word out, but there's a huge long road ahead, and I'm sure that Peter Albright's not gonna take all this media coverage very lightly. I'm not scared. We have the entire country on our side. Well, yeah, but I mean, the whole country doesn't employ a team of high-priced lawyers. Why are you being so negative? Don't you believe we're gonna win? I, yes, I, it's, it's just that I understand that this is a monumental task, and I don't know if I'm going to be around to see it through. I did not say that, Andrea. But it's what you were thinking. I want to make sure that you are not getting so involved in this that you forget about your health. How could I possibly forget about my health? The reminders are everywhere. I have the doctor's appointments, the meds, the testing. How could I possibly forget all of that? I worry that this is all just way too much for you. Wholesome Grove is all I have. It's the one thing I can use to make a difference in the world. That way the world knows that I was here, even if I wasn't here for long. Okay, come here. Come here. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. I love you, Mom, but I have to see this through, even if it gets hard. Well, looks like it's about to get harder. Why is that? Peter Albright wants to meet with us tomorrow. <laughs> That's amazing. I know just what I'm going to wear. Hmm. Up for round two, Mr. Albright. I hope you're ready. Oh, God. Don't bother standing up. This won't take long. What's wrong? Scared of a 16-year-old girl with a laptop? Okay. <laughs> I've had rashes more annoying than you. I hope you're not contagious. This little media circus, it's been good and well. However, it's time that we end this fiasco right here and now. And how do you propose you're going to do that? I filed an injunction against you and your little organization to cease and desist all activities immediately. Nice try, but you can't do that. Our organization is protected under federal and state laws. Um, I'm afraid she's right, sir. I'm suing you personally for defamation and slander against my company. Strike two. I am a minor, and we are 30% Cherokee. If you decided to pursue that route, we have a team of civil rights lawyers chomping at the bit to get at your company and its vast assets. The internet really is a wonderful place. Listen, you little piss ant. Up until now, I've played by the rules, but now you're forcing my hand. I can get dirty with the best of them. You want to get dirty? 
if you don't remove yourself from my daughter's face immediately, I will remove yours permanently. Come on, Gerald, let's go. You can see yourselves out. Mom, I did not know you had that in you. Well, no one messes with my little girl. Guess not. But we do need to go. I'm sure that he's planning his next move and something tells me we are not gonna like it. So let's get out of here. Close the damn door. What's our next step, sir? I want you to dig up everything you can on those two. Stop at nothing. At nothing, sir? Isn't that a bit drastic? I didn't ask for your opinion. I want everything we can find on them, a complete history. Anything we can use against them is fair game. Excuse me for saying so, sir, but if she does indeed have access to lawyers and they discover what we're up to, that could be opening up a huge can of worms. I'll worry about that later. Perhaps we should launch a counteroffensive as far as the media is concerned. The public already has a rather grim view of you, sir, and it's starting to affect the stock value. Do what you need to to take care of this mess. But in the meantime, I want something. I want anything that we can use as leverage to put an end to this shit once and for all. I'll do my best, sir. Gerald? Sir? Failure is not an option. I'll remember that, sir. Who does that jerk think he is? Elon? Hey, morning killer. I heard you had quite the day yesterday. Yeah, you could say that. What's wrong? I'm just reading all of these hateful comments on Twitter. I wouldn't worry about that, honey. Probably more than half of those are fake accounts created by Albright's henchmen. Maybe, but still hurts to read, though. Oh, okay, great news, guys. So that was the Environmental Protection Group, and they said that they are filing an injunction against Albright Industries tomorrow morning. Well, that's great news. Yeah, great news. Well, I thought you'd be a little more excited than that. Sorry, Mom. I'm... I just don't understand how people can be so callous. Hey, most of that is probably created by Peter Albright himself. That's what I told her. Yeah, and the rest is just meaningless rhetoric with angry people sitting behind their computer just being mean about anything and everything. So what do we do about it? Well, nothing. I mean, we ignore it and we focus on wholesome growth. And more importantly, on your health. I feel fine. Well, feeling fine and being fine are two very different things, and you of all people should know that. I know, Mom. Have you taken your meds today? No. Mm. Go upstairs, take your medicine, and leave your phone here. That is enough negativity for one day. Thank you. What's that look for? Oh, I just wonder if this is all worth it. Well, it is to her. She's just like you, Beth. She will fight until the end. Mm, yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, boy. Take a break. You chopped enough wood for three winters. Look, I'm not finished. Who's got under your skin this time? No one. Not buying it. The only time you ever chop wood is when someone has pissed you off. I'm just trying to help out. Who do you think you're trying to fool? When you were young, you used to come out here every time someone would pick on you. It happened a lot, as I remember. Tell me about it. We had the EPA call a couple of times warning us of deforestation. Look, I'm just dealing with a lot of stress on this deal. I believe there's more to it than that. Business deals don't get to you. People do. Always been your weakness. 
look, I don't have any weaknesses. If you have weaknesses in my line of work, they'll eat you alive. Huh, so we're back to people now, are we? Can we please change the subject? <laughs> nope, I'm running the show. Who is it? You might as well tell me, because you know I'm gonna find out. All right, fine. It's this teenager, Andrea. Her and her mother, they're running the campaign against the demolition of Wholesome Grove. I see, so she's feisty, strong-willed young woman who doesn't take your crap. Remind you of anyone? Again with the jokes. Tell me more about her. Well, she's headstrong, vigilant, and incredibly persistent. Everything you weren't at her age? No, what? that has nothing to do with it. I am not buying it. It's getting late. Better grab your stuff and come on in. I, I, I've got some stuff I need to sort out. I'll, I'll be in later. Fine. While you're out here, you need to think about what's really eating at you. Oh, I cannot believe he had us waiting out in that waiting room for 45 minutes. Take it easy, Mother. The doc is a busy man. Okay, I know. I'm just a little tense this morning, I guess. Why are you tense? I'm the one who's sick. Remember? I just hate waiting. I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just being selfish. Don't be. You need more time to worry about yourself and less about me. Mm, yeah, well, we both know that's never gonna happen, so. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies. Hey, Doc. Hello, Doctor. I see we've been a very busy young woman, haven't we, Andrea? My chart says that. Uh, <laughs> no, the internet and all the local news channels. Everyone needs a hobby. This is true. However, not everyone has terminal cancer. Getting right to the chase today, aren't we? Your blood tests are a little off. That is my main concern. Yes, I didn't study enough. Hey, Andrea. <laughs> I see your sense of humor still intact. That's good. Thinking of taking my act on the road, actually. And that's a another concern of mine, your increase in activities as of late. Not you two. Now, now, Andrea. I am fully behind your crusade to save Wholesome Grove, even donated to the cause. However, it is important that you not overexert yourself. There's so much to do and there's not enough time to do it. Look, Andrea, you're a teenager with cancer. You need to pace yourself. Wholesome Grove is not gonna save itself. As I said earlier, I have seen the news, and you have a whole community of support behind you. Let others help you. You mean adults? I mean people who care about you, young lady. Do not mistake my compassion for condescension. Remember, I'm the good doctor supporting you. You need to concentrate on your health more than this campaign. Wholesome Grove is important. Your health is more important. What good is saving Wholesome Grove if you aren't going to be around to see this through? You really don't mess around, do you, Doc? Not when it comes to stubborn patience. I want you to be around to announce to the world that Wholesome Grove has been saved. Okay. You drive a hard bargain, Doc. I'll try to work less and rest more. You will rest more and work less. Man, really can't get anything past you, can I? I'll see you, both of you, back here, two weeks. Yes, sir. Anything else, sir? Yeah. Go get him, kid. Will do, Doc. Told you, Sam. <laughs> All right, we're both here. What's this emergency meeting about? Calm down, Peter. I am calm. Let's get to it. The other investors and I are concerned about the negative publicity attached to the land acquisition. Acquisition? You mean destruction? We're all adults here. You don't have to sugarcoat it. We feel that you don't have a grip on the situation. 
In other words, you're getting cold feet from a few negative words in the press. I thought they had bigger balls than that. That attitude is exactly what we've been talking about, Peter. That may be the way you do business, but we have other investors to answer to, and quite frankly, they are very worried. Everything is under control. Is it? Have you read the recent stories? I'm aware of the situation. That's what you're paying me for. And handsomely, I might add, I just think that you need to exercise a little bit more tact with what you're doing. If I back off, this deal is finished. All that time and effort is wasted. Is that what you want? Absolutely not. We just feel you may need to soften the public's perception of the whole situation. I didn't get to where I am using kid gloves. Maybe you should try something new. And maybe I should just let a teenager walk all over me, piss away millions of dollars. Is that what you want? Of course not. We just don't want this to spiral out of control that's going to affect us for years to come. I understand your concerns and we'll take them into consideration. That's all we ask, Peter. Okay, let's schedule a meeting in a week. Sounds good. Pussies. I would like to echo the investor's concerns, Mr. Albright. Don't, Gerald, just don't. This project is going to go forward the way I see fit. Are we clear? Crystal, sir. What about the information I asked you for? Almost complete, sir. Good. The game's about to pick up. Um, I'm going to be out for a few hours. Uh, I'd like to meet again tomorrow. Very good, sir. So, shall we say 9 a.m.? Perfect. And Gerald? Yes, sir. Stop at nothing. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Albright? What is it, Gerald? Uh, I found something on Miss Andrea that we may be able to use to our advantage, as you requested. Great. What is it? Well, it involves her physical well-being. How does that impact our project? I believe it will have a great deal of impact, sir. However... Get it out. It will require a bit of illegal hacking to get what we need. Can you do it? Well, yes, I was a bit of hacker in my day. But this is... Highly unethical. I'm not interested in ethics. I want results. Yes, sir. I'll send them over right away. Perfect. Mr. Forgive me for what I do. I hate how he has it just, just sitting here like cattle waiting for the slaughter. That's just to make you frustrated. It's okay. I just hope Mom doesn't threaten to rip his face off again. You didn't. Well, he was threatening Andrea. I'm not going to let him get away with that. I thought he was going to drop a load right then and there. Ew, Andrea. <laughs> well, let's just try to keep this as civil as possible this time. Well, I will try, but ooh, that man just rides on my last nerve. Uh, just let me do most of the talking. That's why you got me here. I got you. Thank you. Hello again, everyone. Uh, I'm Gerald. I'm Mr. Albright's lead attorney. OK. I'm William Hill. I'll be representing the Save Wholesome Grove Foundation from now on. 
It's enough of the small talk. Let's get down to business. What? Nothing. Let's, uh, let's move on. I've spoken to my investors, and they're willing to go the distance to see this project through. And what does that entail? Injunctions, countersuits, whatever it takes. Huh. You know, I find it hard to believe that your investors are going to invest this type of time into dragging this out, like over months, even years. But they are indeed. You'll find it all in these documents. What? Wait, did you say years? Is that a problem? You're bluffing. Oh, I never bluff. Uh, listen, I I'll need at least a few days to review it. Please, take your time. As Mr. Albright alluded, we are in no hurry. How about this? Why don't we set up an early meeting for early next week? Oh, be perfect. You can uh, reach me here and I'll set it up. Okay, I guess we're done here. Oh, I know we're done here. That did not go the way I expected it to. Yeah, I agree. I, so when we first met him, he wanted to just get this thing done with as quickly as possible and rush through it, and now he's going to drag it out indefinitely? I, I'm, I don't understand. I mean, something must have happened to have changed his mind, but I, I don't know what it was. Mom. What? He knows. Are you sure you're up for this? I'm <laughs> fine, Mom. Now, I can handle the press conference if you're not comfortable with it. No, the people that are backing us up are expecting to see me, so. You know, you are quite the young woman, I must say. I had a good teacher. Now, hold on a second. Anything that you need to say, you can say to me. I'm not here on official business. I resigned as Mr. Albright's attorney last night. Well, you what? Mr. Albright crossed a line of ethics that I just couldn't deal with. And what might that be? He, well, we obtained access to Andrea's health records and we're prepared to use that in our favor. I knew it. You are readily admitting this? Now, you know this is a serious crime. I am well aware of the implications and accept whatever path you choose to take. Okay, so what does this mean? Mr. Albright wasn't bluffing. He's prepared to bury you in paperwork, hoping that Andrea's condition will take precedence and you'll drop the campaign. Uh, how can anyone be so heartless? Believe me, it comes very easily to Mr. Albright. Okay, so, so what do we do now? We use it. We'll file formal charges against Mr. Albright, his company, and his investors. They'll be forced to drop the entire project immediately. Okay, well that's... Wonderful. Mr. Albright and his constituents are going to be facing some serious jail time after this. Mom? Yeah? I don't want to send anybody to jail. I just want to save Wholesome Grove. Well, you did. I mean, Wholesome Grove is saved. At what cost? Sending people to jail and ruining their lives? That's not what I had in mind. Well, honey, these people are ruthless. But I'm not. What do you suggest we do? I have an idea. Good afternoon, everyone. I had a speech prepared for today, but some unforeseen circumstances have changed what needs to be said. I'd hoped to reach millions of people in my quest to save Wholesome Grove. However, only one person needs to be reached. I'm standing here today in front of the world to make an offer to Mr. Peter Albright. Meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. No reporters, no lawyers, just us. Let me show you the source of my passion. Let me show you why Wholesome Grove is so important. Prove to the world that you aren't that heartless tyrant that everyone thinks you are. These are my terms, and they are non-negotiable. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
You were incredible, honey. Oh my gosh, I've never been prouder of you. Do you think he'll go for it? Something tells me he will. Hello, Ms. Albright. It's so amazing. It was so good. A flood of sexual assault complaints were filed over the last few days against some one woman aides. It came just before the war. Well, that went over like a fart in church. You saw, huh? Hard not to. It's on every channel. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't ask. So, um, what are you going to do about it? What I usually do? I'm going to figure out a way to get what I want. That doesn't sound very smart. It's worked out pretty well for me so far. Maybe, but I don't think you're going to be able to buy your way out of this one. Don't bet on it. Want my advice? No, but you're going to give it anyway. You have been a hard ass for years. Says the pot to the kettle. Hush, I'm talking. Go over to her and listen. Listen to her. You might learn something. Look, I'm not interested in hearing anything that she has to say. I didn't say hear, I said listen. There's a difference. <sighs> Won't change a thing. Don't be so sure. All this has gone to hell so quickly. The way I see it, you don't have any other choice. There's always a choice. Then make the right one for once. Include assault or rape, and to then vindicate their rights, bring these cases. You little piss out. I thought this was a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Well, I'm here for support and to make sure nothing happens to my daughter. It's unnecessary. I'm a businessman, not a pervert. Well, there's a fine line between the two. Mother. Anyways, why exactly am I here? I want you to see firsthand what this is all about. This land and trees? It's so much more than that. Let's consider this a negotiation. Okay, what do I get? You'll see. Come on. How long is this going to take? As long as it needs to. What's your angle, kid? I want you to see the beauty and the magic of Wholesome Grove. Why is this important to you? It's my legacy. As I'm well aware, you know my situation. Yeah, about that. We'll worry about that later. Right now, let's just focus on the task at hand. Okay, so this is your legacy? <laughs> Absolutely. Whether you're 10 or 100, it's important to leave your mark. Make some noise and just let the world know that you were here. I like to think that's what I do. You do is different. Buildings and money, they all come and go, but nature's the most important thing in the world. It is the world. Yeah, maybe to you. <sighs> Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. See with your ears. Listen to all of those wonderful sounds around you. What do you hear? I hear birds. Lots of birds. What else? I hear water. It's in the distance, but I, I hear it. That's Lake Rustler. 
What else? I hear something moving in the grass. Pretty fast. It's right over there. Maybe a rabbit? Well, you're good. Is there anything else? I hear lots of things, but they, they're, they're all just running together. Good. So, now, remember all of those sounds, but slowly open your eyes. Is the view any different? It's brighter. I see more colors. How do we get out of here? Not yet. This is Lake Rustler. Me and my friends always come here just to talk about things. What kind of things? Life, our hopes, dreams. What are your dreams? I can't afford dreams. Sorry. It's fine. I've pretty much just come to terms with the whole thing. Doesn't it make you angry? I was angry at first. I was mad at God for doing this to me. I was mad that I'd never get a fairy tale wedding, that I'd never be able to have kids. Just mad about all the things that I'd never get to experience. Yeah, it's understandable. But I can hardly believe someone as stubborn as you doesn't have some sort of dream hidden deep down. My dream is simple. I just want my mom to smile again. Not that half-hearted one that she has now, but one that doesn't hide the pain. Yeah, that's reasonable. Reasonable, yes. Achievable? No. Isn't everything achievable? Is it? Peter, do you know how hard it is for me to look at my mom and see the pain in her eyes? I know it's there. I hear her cry herself to sleep every night. No offense, but... What does that have to do with Wholesome Grove? I just want to die knowing that I achieved something in life. I don't want my short time on this earth just to be wasted. I don't just want to be another statistic. Yep, I understand. Do you, Peter, do you understand? You have your whole life ahead of you and you've achieved everything that you ever could have dreamed of. Not everything. Before we leave today, I just want you to think about one thing. What would you do if you were in my place? Welcome everyone. I'm sure you're anxious to get started. We've been awaiting an update on the project. How is it progressing? It seems like we've hit a snag. So we've seen. That speech the girl gave? caused quite a bit of controversy. What do you plan to do about it? I'm beginning to wonder if we shouldn't start looking for another location. Absolutely not. This is a prime location. We have spent millions of dollars of research just to find the right piece of land. I realize that, but with all this negative publicity, I'm starting to think maybe we've dug a hole we can't get out of. Public opinion is not our greatest concern, Peter. Looks like I'm not the only one with a change of heart. Excuse me? Nothing. Look, the opposition is gaining more and more support as we speak. Eventually, someone's going to figure out a way to get out of this. Isn't that what we're paying you for? To keep that from happening? I'm a bit short-handed since Gerald resigned. Well, we're not interested in excuses, Peter. This project is going to go on with you or without you. So I suggest you find a better way of handling this immediately. Gerald. Yeah, this is Peter. Um, I'm just calling to see if you could set up a meeting with Andrea and Beth tomorrow. Yeah, I, I realize you don't work for me. I'm, I'm asking as a favor. Yeah, 
tomorrow morning would be great. Hey, thank you so much. I hope you know what you're doing. So, do you have any idea what this is about? I have no idea. He just called and asked that I set it up. <laughs> I highly doubt it's for good news. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Why is that? Just a feeling. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, can we ask what this meeting's all about? Well, I have some good news and some bad news. I think we'll take the good news first. I no longer share the investor's vision for this project. What's the bad news? I don't think I can do anything to stop it. Well, what do you mean? The investors plan to go through with this project whether I'm involved or not. What are you getting at, Mr. Albright? <sighs> Little corporate espionage. Gerald, call me Peter, please. If I pull out of this project, Wholesome Grove is as good as gone. But if I can convince the investors that the project is progressing, then I can buy us time until we figure out a way to stop it. Uh, okay, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I told you so. Uh, but wait, how do we even know we can trust you? Because of these. These are the complete plans for the project. They're much more comprehensive than the ones that Gerald stole from me. I did no such thing. Yes, you did. That doesn't matter. What matters is finding a loophole to stop it. And it's going to be difficult because Gerald and I closed most of them. That does present a problem. I'm sure you and William will find something. Perhaps, but I don't have access to what I need. I resigned, remember? Oh, I thought about that, too. I'm hiring you back. I want you to help save Wholesome Grove. Won't that raise red flags with the investors? Yeah. Gerald, I said I'm hiring you back. Never said you were on payroll. Sneaky. Yeah, I didn't get to where I am without breaking a few rules. Let's get to work. Okay, Peter, are you sure about this? Not completely. Great, well, that's comforting. Give him a chance, Mom. Something tells me that our little trip to Wholesome Grove might have done him some good. Any luck yet? No, sir. <sighs> Shit. Hey, language. Huh? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's nothing I haven't heard before, right? No comment. You know, let's, uh, let's break for lunch. I think we could all use a breather. Joe, can you call something in? It's on me. Anything in particular? <sighs> something hearty with a bucket of caffeine on the side. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm okay. A little tired, but I can take it. Yeah. Well, you sure you don't want to go lay down or anything? Actually, I got there just for a little while. Okay. I'll let you know if the food gets here. Are you okay? Oh. Hey, kiddo. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just a little cross-eyed from looking at all those papers. Yeah, it can wear on you. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why the change of heart? Wow, you get right to the point, don't you? Did you expect any less? Not at all. Okay, then spill it. As much as I hate to admit it, our little trip to Wholesome Grove really got to me. I knew it. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. <sighs> Keep going. Made me realize that money isn't everything. You don't tell anyone I said that. My lips are sealed. I thought about you and 
the investors in Wholesome Grove, and I, I realized for one of the first times in my life, I wasn't the one in control. And that's a bad thing? Definitely. I've been in control of almost every situation since I can remember. <laughs> the plot thickens. Yeah, when we were out there, I realized I have nothing to show for the endless hours I've put into my business, except money. You can do a lot of good things with money, Peter. Yeah, but I want something more tangible, more meaningful. And I believe this project is it. So what are you going to do? I don't know. But I do know one thing. I plan to win, no matter what it takes. You know, you're still a pain in the ass, but I'm glad you're on our side. Oh. I'm beat. Oh, me too. I'm soft. We should order a pizza. Sounds good to me. Pepperoni? That sounds good. So what do you think our chances are? I mean, I don't think they're gonna run out of pepperoni. No, I mean with wholesome growths. Do we think Gerald and Peter are gonna be able to figure anything out? I think so, honey. I mean, they're, they're two very intelligent men. And I can't believe I just said that about Peter Albright. <laughs> Me either. A couple of days ago, you were ready to scratch his eyes out. What? No, I was not. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. I saw the look in your eyes when he was up in my face. No one messes with my girl. I should order the pizza. Where's your phone? Um, I think, I think it's in the kitchen. I think I left it in the kitchen. And while you're in there, you need to make yourself some juice. Get your strength up. Yes, mother. Mom, yeah. I don't feel so good. Oh my God, Andrea. God, Andrea, Andrea, honey, honey. Oh my God, I need you to look at me, sweetie. I need you to look at me. Oh my God, Andrea, honey, honey. I think we did our jobs a little too well. What do you mean? I'm not able to find a loophole anywhere in this project. Me either. Damn it! May I ask a question, sir? I told you call me Peter. And let me guess, why the sun change of heart? <laughs> well, yes. That seems to be the question of the day around here. You know, we have to admit, it is a rather drastic turnaround. Even an asshole like me can see the light, Gerald. Not the phrasing I would have used, but we can go with that. When I was at Wholesome Grove with Andrea, I had a feeling come over me like, like nothing I've ever felt before. It was like someone reached inside my soul and flipped on a light. And I, I just started seeing things differently more clearly. Andrea is a special little girl. Yes, she is. And I knew right then that I wanted to do something to stop this project, whatever it takes. But unfortunately, I'm running out of ideas. Perhaps we're looking at it in the wrong way. Mm, what do you mean? What's the most important thing to the investors? Money, what else? Correct, and to be more precise, making more money. Look, I, I'm not following. What about a buyout? If we come up with enough capital, we can offer a buyout to the investors at a substantial profit. That's not a bad idea. We could offer 50% per investor to walk away, no questions asked. Of course, that's an outstanding idea. Yeah, the only problem is, I don't have that kind of capital lying around. Do you know anyone with a hundred million to spare? I'm afraid not. That amount would take investments from several heavy hitters. 
or maybe just one. I've got an idea, but we're not out of the woods yet, pun intended. Hello? Hey, hello, Beth. I've got great news. Um, actually right now is not, um, not a really great time, Peter. Uh, what's wrong? Um, Andrea's in the emergency room. What? What, what happened? Um, she fell on the floor and, um, she went into convulsions and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just really scared. Come on, Gerald, grab your shit. Where are you going? To the hospital. Andrea's sick. Right. How can I help you? Excuse me, we're looking for Andrea Scott. Are you family? Uh, yes, I'm her uncle. All right. Um, looks like she was taken to the ICU, floor three, room 202. Great, thank you. Uncle Peter. Yeah, you've got to be able to think on your feet, Gerald. Didn't they teach you that in law school? How's she doing? Um, she's sedated right now, and I don't know, the doctors are just running tests. Do they have a prognosis? I think it's just too early to tell, you know. When did this happen? Just like an hour ago, it just, it just came out of nowhere. Do you need anything? Oh, I just need her to wake up. Sorry. Like to go for coffee or something? No. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna leave her. Hi. Hey, Beth. Hi. How, How are you? Fine, how's she? I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not good. Cancer has spread to her cerebellum and it's unlikely she'll leave the hospital. Are you, um, are you sure? Unfortunately, I am. She has a day, maybe two. I, I, I am so, so sorry, Beth. No, no, I'm, I'm not ready to let her go, so. We are doing everything we can to make her as comfortable as possible with the time she has left. Will she wake up, Doc? Uh, she's sedated now, but it's touch and go. And even if she does, I'm not sure she'll be able to talk or even recognize you. Thanks, Doc. I have to admit, this is the last place I thought we would end up when we first met. You and me both. How are you holding up? Not so good. A month ago, I was on top of the world, brokering a multi-million dollar deal that would have set me for life. And now I'm about to lose someone very important to me. How do we get to this point? Life is indeed strange. Before I forget, I wanted to let you know I appreciate all the hard work you've done throughout this whole ordeal. Never thought I'd say it, but it's been a pleasure. Now, 
How are we going to save Wholesome Grove? Honestly, I'm not sure if we can. There has to be a way, and I'm not going to let Andrea down. Noble gesture, sir. Peter. But I'm afraid it's out of our hands. It's Beth. Andrea's awake. Hey, Pete. Hey, kiddo. How you doing? Been better. No shit. Hey, Gerald. Miss Scott. My pleasure. We're gonna get you out of here soon. No offense, Pete, but you always were a bad liar. I never could fool you. Mom? Yeah, honey. Peter? I... I want you to promise me something. What is it, honey? Promise me that you'll work together to save Wholesome Grove. No fighting and no sneakiness, Peter. You got it, kiddo. Whatever you say, honey. Wholesome Grove is... It's what I was put on this earth for, and I, I know that now. Well, we will do all we can. I will do everything in my power. I promise. As will I. Pete? Yeah? You're allowed to be a pain in the ass. Just this once. Mom. Yeah. You've been my guardian angel ever since I first got sick. Please don't be sad when I'm gone. I'll be in your heart. Now, forever. Andrea. Uh, Andrea. Oh. No. No. Uh, Andrea. Oh. No. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My condolences. She was an incredible young woman. Thank you so much. So, where do we go from here? We honor Andrea's memory. I'm not sure I can pull it off. Is this coming from the same man who threatened my daughter right to her face? Tell you threatened to rip mine off. <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> you caught me off guard. That's, that's hard to do. You can't give up, Peter. You've got to find a way to save Wholesome Grove and honor Andrea's memory. How? You'll find a way. I have faith in you. I haven't heard that in a long time. So what's your next step? I actually have a conference call with the investors tomorrow. And what are you going to tell them? 
Not sure. But I plan to be a royal pain in the ass. Well, Andrea would be very proud of you. I'll do my best, kiddo. I promise. Good morning, everyone. I understand you have some good news for us. What good news would that be? I understand our opposition is out of the picture. Opposition? There's a 16-year-old girl. She's not out of the picture. She died. However you look at it, I assume the project will resume as planned. I don't see anything standing in the way, unfortunately. What was that? Nothing. Um, what's the next step? We plan to cut the check to the city on the 5th, and the crews will be on site for the demolition on the 15th. That soon, huh? Well, there will be a sizable bonus in this for you too, Peter. After all, you did come in under the time frame that you discussed. Whatever you say. Is there something you'd like to get off your chest, Peter? No, uh, you've made it perfectly clear. The project will proceed as planned. Is there anything else you wish to add? Just that we are happy with the way you've handled the project, and we look forward to working with you again in the future. Okay, fine. in the hell are you doing up so early? I've got a lot on my mind. Don't you always? This is different. Stop pussyfooting around. This gets on my nerves. What do you mean by that? I'm your mother, right? Remember, I know how you operate. Still not following. You never let anyone get close to you. I always thought you'd find your way, but you never did. What way is that? Let me put it in terms that you can understand. The most valuable commodity is people. Not money, not stocks, not bonds, people. You can't keep them out forever. People are interchangeable. Not the good ones. Last of the dying breed. Bad choice of words. This has got you all twisted knots, doesn't it? You could say that. For the first time in my career, I'm not the one in control, and it pisses me off. And fix it. How do you suppose I do that? How in the hell should I know? You're the hotshot businessman. Isn't there always a way out? It's, it's just not that simple. Sure it is. More than one way to skin a cat. Not when that cat invested $100 million into your project. I'm gonna go for a drive. I'll be back later.
Morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Um, my daughter just died. So, how do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Is there anything you need help with? No, I'm just kind of getting some of her stuff put away and going through things. You know. Yeah, I can't imagine what you're going through. I knew this day was coming for a while, and I I'm still not as prepared as I thought I'd be. No, it's so unfair. All these low lives running around this world. Why did she have to die? Yeah, I've asked myself that many times and I still haven't quite come up with an answer. How can you be so calm? You know, I, I, I've had a lot of time, a lot of time to think about this. And I mean, I've, I've cried, I've broke shit. I mean, I've drank myself into a coma more nights than I can count when Andrea was in the hospital. And I guess over time, you just, I don't know. I guess I just kind of grew numb. How can you say that? I have been through more emotional trauma than most people have ever even dreamed of. So I think that I've earned the right to deal with her death exactly how I see fit. Well, I'm pissed. It's not right. She never had a chance at life to do what she wanted to do, set out everything she wanted to do. No, oh, you're right. She didn't. But she did accomplish one thing that was very, very important to her. What was that? Do you remember the conversation you guys had in the woods? Vaguely. So she told you that she wanted to make a difference in this world, no matter how big or small. Yeah, well, how did she do that? Tell me, how did her death make any difference? What did she change? Tell me. When you first came here, you were an insufferable ass who didn't care about anyone or anything. And now look at you, look how far you've come. So what? You have the means, Peter. You can make the change that she couldn't. I mean, do you think it was just an accident that you two met that day? What do you mean by that? Fate, Peter. Fate brought you together and now you can be Andrea's voice. I don't know. Look at me, look at me. Andrea saw things in you that nobody else can see. Okay, the kindness, the, the compassion that you bury very, very deep down inside yourself. I can't. My daughter had a purpose in this life. She had a dream that now only you can carry out. Don't you dare let that dream die. You're quite a fighter, aren't you? Well, I had a good teacher. Where do I go from here? You just, just listen to your heart, Peter. Just let Andrea speak through you. I'll do my best. Yeah. I knew you'd come around. How did you know that? Andrea told me. Laws of nature, Pete. Only the strongest survive. You're still a pain in the ass, but I'm glad you're on our side. More than one way to skin a cat. Hello, Thomas. This is Peter. You know that favor you owe me? Yeah. I want to cash it in. Beth, I cannot express the sorrow I'm feeling right now. Andrea brought out a part of me I thought was lost forever. She taught me to see the world in a different light. I can't undo the actions of my past, but I can impact the future. In the words of a very knowledgeable little girl, leave your mark, make some noise, let the world know you were here. If you believe this, as I do, I think you know where to go from here.
Welcome back, Mr. Albright. I've cleared your schedule so that you can make a smooth transition back. I sorted your mail by financial, legal, and junk. There is a package here I wasn't sure how to categorize. Okay, thanks. That'll be all, Jean. Uh, Jean? Yes, Mr. Albright. I know you tip off my mother when I go upstate. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Jean? Yes? Keep up the good work. Dear Pete, by the time you get this, I'll be gone. I truly enjoyed the time we had together. Life is a precious gift and we all have a short time on this earth. Don't waste yours being a pain in the ass. Open your heart and see the world for what it can be, not what it is. I left you a little something to remember me by. Keep it in a safe place. <laughs>